Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about God ordained marriage stands isn't for the weak. I need you to understand this journey that we are on is it for the weak. I need you to understand, okay, why are you standing, right? Yes, God has promised you marriage, right? And God, you know, has revealed to you who your uh, God ordained spouse is, right? But why is the enemy coming for you? Why do you have to go through all of these things? Let's talk about it. So again, this journey isn't for the weak. The reason why um, this stance isn't an easy one, the reason why you can see unbelievers, people just getting married, you know, and they not coming up under attack, you know, uh, it just looks easy for them. But yet it's hard for you. You're coming up under this heavy spiritual warfare. The reason for this is because, number one, you are standing for a God-ordained marriage. And then number two, Whenever you stand for a God ordained marriage promise, that means you want the plan God has for your life, right? You are in alignment with God. And so here comes the enemy. The enemy is after your destiny. It's more than marriage. The enemy is after your destiny. Put that in the comment section. The enemy is after your destiny destiny okay this is why the enemy is attacking you this is why the enemy is lying on you this is why the enemy is doing these love and separation spell this is why the enemy is attacking you the way how these attacks are coming to you because of your destiny because of the calling that's on your life because of this promise because you are the one who said yes to god and therefore the enemy is coming for your life. So this stands, it isn't for the weak, okay? You got to begin to understand, when you take a look at in the Bible, okay, Jesus, the Pharisees, they came to test Jesus over and over and over, right? They mocked Jesus, they accused him, they rejected him, okay, because of his destiny. Look at Joseph in the Bible. In Genesis, you know, Joseph was betrayed by his brothers. He was rejected by his family. He was lied on. He was abandoned. He was left for dead all because of his calling, all because of the destiny, that dream the Lord showed Joseph um, in his dream, okay? So you got to begin to understand the devil, the enemy is coming for your destiny, okay? David, let's talk about David in uh, 1 Samuel. He was overlooked by his father. Saul, okay, first Saul started off, you know, like, like really praising David or whatever until he heard the people giving David more praises than Saul. And Saul became jealous of David, jealous to the point of to where Saul allowed the enemy to use him to try to take David's life. But Saul really knew that David was 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 who God was going to make the next king. So I knew David is who's going to take my spot. And so again, you read how Saul began to come after David's life. He was trying to stop his destiny. The enemy is coming for your life because the enemy is trying to stop your destiny. The enemy is trying to stop you from being the next um, king or the next queen. The enemy is trying to stop the calling that's on your life. The enemy is trying to stop this marriage from coming to pass. You got to understand. It's more than marriage. This is about your destiny, okay? So I need you to understand, you know, this journey, it isn't for the weak, okay? I need you to understand, even while the enemy is coming for you, you are coming up under all of this spiritual warfare, I still need you to begin to identify all the ways how God is helping you. I need you to understand, even in the spiritual warfare, even when you up under the enemy's attack, when they plotting against you, when they lying on your name, when they slander your name, I need you to understand that God, he's still breaking things off of you, okay? God is having, the reason why God is having you to pray and fast is because you are breaking things in the spirit realm. You are closing doors to the enemy. This is why the attacks increase, okay? So all of what you're going through, it isn't in vain. OK, and I need you, you know, in this process to keep the right attitude, keep the right mindset. Don't come into agreement of, of thinking the Lord is punishing you. No. All of these things are happening because of what was done behind the scene. OK, the enemy is the one who's who uh, comes into believers lives to steal, kill and destroy. That's the enemy who's been plotting against your life, setting all these traps, right, trying to get you to fall in it. But the enemy, enemy is going to fall in it. Right. So all you have to do is stay in alignment. 
during this time with God, continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to be obedient, continue to study your word, okay? And God is the one who is with you and he's going to pull you out of this, okay? Understand, this God of name, Mary Stan, it isn't for the weak, okay? God is building you in this stand. He is developing you, okay? Because there's a calling that's on your life. This is why you have to go through this. A lot of people ask me, why do I got to go through the nine stages? Because God, these nine stages are preparing you for your calling that's on your life. If God was to release your calling or tell you this is your calling that's on your life and tell you to go ahead and step into it, the calling will overtake you. It will overwhelm you. It will scare you. So God it will use these nine stages that God ordained believing spouse has to go through. He will use these nine stages. He will allow you to be mocked. He would allow people to slander your name, people to lie on you. He would allow your spouse to reject you, okay? It's all working for your good. Whatever you are going through during this stance, it's all working for your good. Your time, your day of vindication is coming. Do not give up. Continue to keep the right attitude. Continue to keep the right mindset, okay? This, this God of name mere stands. It isn't for the weak. God is building you. He's developing you. He's equipping you. Okay. God doesn't call to qualify. He qualified those. He called. He's qualifying you throughout this stance. Okay. So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.